In the following video, the Clinical Skills Lab of the University of Veterinary Medicine Hanover will demonstrate the intracutaneous suture. This is a continuous suture, meaning it is sewn with a single surgical thread. Required for this demonstration are a needle and thread, a needle holder, forceps, scissors, a practice suture pad, and gloves. The suture pad is used to simulate the skin. One starts with a V-shaped stitch, which is placed in the skin intracutaneously, just below the surface. To prevent the suture pad from damage, anatomical forceps are used instead of surgical forceps. The beginning of the suture is tied with a surgical knot. The number of knots depends on the type of thread. When tightening the knot, the thread is pulled in the direction of the incision so that the knot is more easily buried. Right-handers suture from right to left, with the needle holder in the right hand and the left hand holding the forceps. The end of the thread is cut short, so that it stays inside the skin. The needle is held parallel to the wound gap. The insertion on the opposite side is made approximately at the level of the previous exit point, so that the thread runs slightly diagonally to the wound gap when changing to the other side. Therefore, the overall suture becomes serpentine or meander-shaped. The intracutaneous suture is placed over the subcutaneous suture and closes the superficial layer of skin. This is used, for example, on wild animals so that the sutures don't have to be removed at a later time. Absorbable sutures are routinely used. It is also used as an alternative to single interrupted stitches that are equally purposed to close up wounds. In human medicine, this type of suture is most interesting for aesthetic reasons. In the end, a V-shaped stitch is performed. The thread is not pulled through completely. A loop is left to close the suture with a surgical knot. When tightening the knot, make sure that the thread is pulled in the direction of the incision. The loop end is cut short. The thread is now directed above the knot and can be led through the side of the wound and out of the skin and cut very short, so that the knot is more easily buried in the tissue.